Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D, and this is the Ender, the second and the most versatile robot I've ever built. The Ender comes weaponized with a long-range TNT cannon modeled after the one on Cube Hamster's Spider Strider. Alex used Juggernaut 2.0 missile, launchable from the cockpit, and conveniently placed redstone blocks to detach the legs so the machine may fly over taller obstacles. And after the legs have been removed, you can use the redstone blocks to dig for bunkers your friends could be hiding in. The Ender, by far, is a force to be reckoned with. And before we jump into the tutorial, just a quick announcement. In order to keep up with the demand of new robots, Survival Sunday will now be more of a random event. With all of the new robot designs and weaponized the tutorials I'm wanting to do, I feel it best to just make Survival Sunday a random happening that I can upload whenever I have more time. But for now, I'll stick to what you all enjoy most, Slimestone. With that being said, I will not be working on a request build this upcoming week. Instead, I will be releasing a tutorial for the variable speed engine, and most likely a weaponize it for the pterodactyl, either later that week or the following week, just because of all the requests I keep getting from you guys. There will be links in the description to Cube Hamster's original video for Alex Yu's Juggernaut 2.0 missile, and Cube Hamster's Spider Strider that I referred to to make my rendition of a long-range flying TNT cannon. But with all of that said, let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so let's jump straight into it. For this build, you will need just over 3 stacks of slime blocks, 38 regular blocks of choice, 23 more regular block of choice as long as they are movable, and uh, this is for the, as you can tell, just the double color pattern that I have kind of going on in the chest area. You will also need 30 sticky pistons, 41 regular pistons, 56 redstone blocks, 6 glass of your choice, this is for the cockpit area, 22 TNT for the missile, and of course extra TNT for if you want to use the TNT cannon, 13 immovable blocks, I have chosen obsidian, 1 redstone torch for start stop, and of course if you're in survival you'll need more of those, and 1 boat. So I'm going to go ahead and get my inventory all straightened up and choose a spot to build and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I have chosen where I'd like to build the ender, and it will be facing towards this village. I started with these two blocks here, which are the nubs on the bottom of the feet, and they are three blocks apart, just for anyone that wants to know. So once you've done this, you are ready to begin. Coming off of the top of both of these blocks here, you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine up with your slime blocks. Now, once you have this mirrored on both sides. So you want to go ahead and grab your redstone blocks, place one here, and then place one right here. Now after you've done that, you can grab your sticky pistons, and you want them to face uh, straight down into the slime blocks, but of course with one block uh, space in between, just like so. There you can move around to the front, which would be the opposite side of this redstone block. You want to place redstone blocks here, so they extend, these sticky pistons extend downward. Coming off the top of this redstone block, you want a slime block, and then you want to come back three more, so there's four total on the top right here. And of course, you can mirror that to this side. Then you want to come down this direction, slime block here, and then there. Go ahead and drop down this way, place a piston here and a piston there so that this piston will push this leg forward when, of course, uh, that sticky piston unextends. Now, once you have uh, all this, what you want to go ahead and do is coming off the top of these slime blocks here, one, two, three more slime blocks, so there's four total coming off the top of the redstone block. Then you want to go ahead and add a redstone block here and, of course, mirror that onto this side. Now, once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and ag add a regular block for aesthetic right here. And once you've done this, you can grab your sticky pistons, place one coming off the back of uh, each redstone block. You can grab a slime block, place it here. And then on this leg here, we're going to swoop around to the outside, place a piston just like so. Then we're going to place a slime block here. We're going to drop down just below it, another slime block, and a redstone block right here. Then coming off the side of this slime block right here, we want one, two, and three slime blocks straight down. Then one in front of it, and a regular block right here. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. And of course, we're going to go ahead and mirror that to this side. You want a slime block here, a uh, piston facing forward, just like so, off the side of that slime block, and then another slime block here, slime block underneath it, redstone block, and then three slime blocks coming straight down off of this one. One, two, three, one forward, and a regular block. Now, once you have all this, you are ready to move forward. Alright, so once you've done this, what we're going to go ahead and do is add our engine in. So what you want to grab are your pistons, and you want to place uh, one piston coming off the top of each sticky piston here, uh, extended back sticky piston. Now once you've done this, you can grab your slime blocks and then come off the top of each of those pistons with uh, three slime blocks apiece, just like so. Now, once you have this overall look, what you want to go ahead and do is come inward with your slime blocks uh, one on each side, then grab your sticky pistons and come off the front of these slime blocks uh, 
with your sticky pistons facing straight into them, into them, just like so. Then grab your regular pistons, and you want to drop back this far. And as you can tell, these will be Caterpillar engines. Now, to char to uh, power them, what we're going to do is place in our immovable blocks, just like so. Grab our redstone blocks, and we can actually place them on uh, this slime block. Uh, like so. So this will of course be our engine and this will update and these legs will move forward. Now uh, first things first of course what we want to go ahead and do is make an engine so it'll actually cycle and uh, continuously move forward. So we're going to add a regular block in between those two uh, slime blocks and a slime block on the bottom of it. And then we're going to go ahead and add in another uh, caterpillar engine to it so it looks exactly like this so far with that sticky piston facing straight into that slime block. And of course we're going to uh, put a piston on the back with an immovable block in between so just like this. Then we want to drop down this way with our redstone blocks. Place one here and there with a slime block in between. Then once we've done this, making sure all of our obsidian is in place, we're going to come to these uh, slime blocks right here, one there and one right here. And we're going to add in two regular blocks and then we want two slime blocks and then we want two regular blocks again just like so and then to end it up just two more slime blocks. So then once you've done this you can grab your sticky pistons, come off the fronts of uh, each slime blocks uh, each slime block like so. Then of course we want all of these sticky pistons to face into the machines uh, so we can have them be engines, of course. So all uh, to look like this. So you should be looking at something that looks uh, exactly like this overall so far with this being the front of your build. Then next up what you want to go ahead and do is grab your pistons and uh, mimic what we did on the bottom. Uh, engines of course. And place <laughs> pistons one block out from each slime block uh, in the back. So once you have done this, you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this again. Now once you have this, you can grab your immovable blocks, place one here, 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 and then right there. So you have immovable blocks in between every one of those slime blocks and pistons just in case something crazy happens. And of course to charge uh, each engine with our redstone blocks. So what you want to go ahead and do is place redstone blocks there. And then two more right there. Then we can grab our slime blocks just like so. Then we're going to come around this way and I'm going to place two redstone blocks, one right here, one right here, one right here, and then one right there. Then we're going to place two more slime blocks, just like so. Now once you have this and all of your obsidian is in place, what you want to go ahead and do is come to these uh, slime blocks just like so and grab your second block of choice and place it right here. Now once you've done this, you can swoop around this way so you're facing towards where your machine will be facing. Grab your sticky place pistons and place uh, one directly in between each of those uh, blocks you just placed. Slime block, and then of course you you can come off of that slime block with your piston, uh, not, not like that, of course, like so. Now, once you have this, what we can go ahead and do is come off of the front of this block with your regular block. Then you want to grab your slime blocks and come up two, uh, just like so. Then you want to grab your redstone torch, place it here so this extends backwards. And then, of course, redstone block here and two slime blocks on the top to connect this whole piece and to make the engine like a full-on cycle. Now, just for show in the torso here, the last little piece of this step, go ahead and add your first regular block to all the redstone blocks here. And then uh, once you've gone ahead and done all of this, you can grab your second uh, block of choice and you can go ahead and place it on all of the sticky pistons. Now, once you've done this, this step is complete and you're ready to move forward. Alright, so once you have that, what you want to go ahead and do is just grab your regular block of choice, place one right there, and then place one right here. Next up, all you want to do is just grab your slime blocks, one right there, and then grab your sticky pistons, so you have one facing directly into the slime block, just like so. Then you can grab your regular pistons, and you can place one to where it's facing towards the slime block with one space in between. You can fill that space with an immovable block, just like so. Then you can grab your redstone blocks, one here, one here, and then slime block here, and then one right there. Then what you want to go ahead and do is drop down to this location and then in between these redstone blocks on the bottom of this slime block you want one regular block and then to the side of that block you want a piston. Now coming off of this piston you want one slime block just like so, redstone block here and then you're going to drop down this being your first slime block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total slime blocks underneath that redstone block up there. Then of course all you want is your second regular block of choice right there and as soon as you've gone ahead and mirrored this whole thing to this side coming out of this block right there, you are ready to move forward. Alright, so once that arm is all nice and mirrored up, what we're going to go ahead and do is come back to this original arm. We're going to find this slime block, 
this slime block here and we're going to come back one two more from it and then a regular block here then we grab our sticky pistons we're going to place one just like so slime block here then we're going to come back from it with another piston one space out just like so the redstone block there and there's another caterpillar engine then what we're going to do is throw down two slime blocks just like this and then we're going to throw three more out uh, from this one so there should be four total on the top here coming off of this redstone block and on the top of this slime block now once you have this what we can go ahead and do is place a slime block here and then a slime block right here. Grab your regular blocks here and then one right there. Then coming off the top of this regular block you want one slime block. Coming back from it of course you want a piston uh, with one space in between. Then you want a sticky piston on the front and this will be another caterpillar engine of course but to prevent having to use an immovable block right here what we're going to come, go ahead and do is come out three slime blocks just like so one more on the end and then two more slime blocks on top of that one that we just placed on the end then you can go ahead and just grab a piston and place it there <clears throat> now you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this when you place your redstone block now as soon as you have this we're going to go ahead and come back to the front of this piston uh, you're going to come out with one slime block regular block and then another slime block. Now on both sides you want to go ahead and just lay down two slime blocks just like so. Then a redstone block here and then your second uh, movable block of choice just right there. And then you want to go ahead and drop down this way. Place, place a piece of glass here, here, and then one right there. And then you want one here, here, and here. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this and you are ready to move forward. Alright, so once you have that, what we're going to go ahead and do is come back to this arm, this area. We're going to go ahead and find this block right here, and we're going to go ahead and add in uh, our TNT cannon. So what we want to go ahead and do is coming off of this block right here, we want one sticky piston, then we want a slime block, and then we want to grab our regular pistons. So of course there's a piston facing this direction with that one space in the middle. Then next up, uh, before we place any sort of redstone block, what we want to go ahead and do is place a slime block here, and a regular block right here, and then coming off the front of this sticky piston we want one two three four slime blocks just like so and then we want one on the bottom just like so so there's four on top with the one slime block right there then we want to grab our regular pistons one right here and then a regular block on top of it so you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this when you go ahead and place that redstone block so now as soon as you have that you can place a slime block on top of this regular block you can come off the front of it with our sticky pistons so it looks so it looks exactly like this then what we can go ahead and do is come off of it with our regular pistons with that one block space in between now before of course we uh, place any sort of redstone block on this one we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we're going to place a slime block on top of this sticky piston and then another one in front of it and we want a piston right there and then we're going to go ahead back to our slime blocks and place two coming out from this slime block like so then as soon as you have that you can go ahead and place a regular block here then we're going to go ahead and drop down this direction and you can place another slime block here with the sticky piston coming out this way and go ahead and place your sticky piston facing into the slime block just like so you can grab your regular pistons and place it just like this so it looks even with this one then you can add in that redstone block and coming back this direction all we would need is our immovable block one right here and then we're just going to go ahead and throw in in right there just in case yeah you know we don't want any mishaps or anything like that and we're going to go ahead and charge uh, this engine with a redstone block here and then there with a slime block right here now coming off of this slime block what we want is a regular block just like so and then a slime block on the bottom of it with a sticky piston coming out of the front just like so and then of course a piston all the way out to here to uh, you know make it a caterpillar engine just like the rest of it then we can go ahead and throw in an immovable block and redstone block redstone block slime block now as soon as you have all this we're gonna go ahead and come to the front of these pistons here and on the bottom one we're gonna go ahead and place a slime block there there and then two out just like so so this sticky piston has uh, this kind of weird uh, slime block pattern coming out with a piston on the bottom of it right here and as soon as you have that you can place two slime blocks coming out from that sticky piston with a piston on the front of it and as soon as you've got uh, this all going and it looks kind of crazy <laughs> you're ready to move forward with the rest of the TNT cannon alright to finish up this TNT cannon what we're gonna go ahead and do is locate this piston and we're gonna come off of it with one slime block like so and then we're gonna go ahead and drop to the bottom of that slime block and place another slime block underneath it then we're gonna place a redstone block right here and then we're gonna come back up this direction we're going to go ahead and place two slime blocks just like so then we're going to come around this way place another slime block here with a piece of glass just right there next up what we want to go ahead and do is grab our regular blocks and place one right here 
then our pistons and we're going to go ahead and place a piston just kind of floating out in the open just like this then coming off this uh, slime block we want a sticky piston kind of sideways just like this with a regular block in front of it just like so then coming off of this piston we want to go ahead and just place two slime blocks and the first one touching it of course just like so then you want a redstone block here slime block here another redstone block right there then a slime block here then you want to go ahead and place down a regular block then an immovable block right there then once you have this you can come up to this location and add in a sticky piston so it looks exactly like this now before you remove this immovable block you want a slime block here just directly down from it and then another slime block right there and then underneath that last slime block you just placed a redstone block now once you have this you can actually go ahead and remove the immovable block then go ahead and locate this piston come out from it with one slime block like so and then as soon as you have this you want one slime block to the side and then you want to go ahead and drop underneath it and have one slime block right there then you want to go ahead and add in a regular block right here grab your sticky pistons place one again right here with the regular block in front of it coming back around this way you want to go ahead and just throw in a redstone block right there and then that whole little piece is complete then coming off of this piston we're going to go ahead and place in a sticky piston on the bottom right here slime block here with a redstone block on top of it then you want to go ahead and come out three slime blocks so there's four total uh, coming out from starting from underneath that redstone block and then you want to go ahead and place uh, another slime block right here with a redstone block right there and then lastly we're going to go ahead and come up to this final piston and we're going to come out from it with one slime block and then we're going to come out three slime blocks total so three right here total redstone block right there and then we're going to go ahead and drop down below this ending uh, slime block right here put a sticky piston right there and then come out from it with two slime blocks and then you want to go ahead and place two slime blocks underneath those two that you just placed and then a redstone block right here and that is the full on completed uh, TNT cat all right, and for the second to last step here, what we're going to go ahead and do is locate this position and just go ahead and throw down our second uh, block of choice right there. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is throw down a sticky piston right directly on top of it, slime block coming out of it, and then uh, a piston, one space behind it, just like so, and then a redstone block will make that a caterpillar engine. Then we can come back two slime blocks and then two more slime blocks on top, just like so. Then we can go ahead and just throw down a regular block right here, slime block on top of it, sticky piston coming out of the front facing directly into it like so then you want to go ahead and drop back with another piston just like this redstone block on top will make that a caterpillar engine as well then we want to go ahead and place two slime blocks just like so and then come back three more slime blocks so there's four total slime blocks on the top right here then once you have that once you can go ahead and just place a regular block here with a slime block uh, on top of it then you can go ahead and add a sticky piston to the front of it like so then add uh, a piston to the back like this for your final little caterpillar engine but before we add the redstone block we want two slime blocks in the front with a piston right there then we can add that redstone block and you know of course that's just to prevent us from having to use another immovable block in any sort of scenario but the reason I come back uh, so far and then up so high is just literally the placing of the trigger so we can easily uh, reach it from the cockpit kind of area position but yeah knowing that uh, we're going to come back up to this piston and come out with one slime block like so redstone block on top and then we're going to go ahead and throw down a slime block here and then here so that's three total slime blocks underneath that top redstone block and then we need three more slime blocks just right here so it looks like this coming off the bottom of this slime or the side of this bottom slime block then we can go ahead and grab our pistons we want one right here go back to our slime blocks we want two just in front of uh, this area right here and as soon as you have that you can actually grab your pistons again and have one facing backwards directly right there and then come around to the front and you want one facing forward uh, right directly underneath it and as soon as you have this you're ready to move on to the last step all right but before that last step what we're going to go ahead and do is come down this direction and we're going to go ahead and add a block in right here and a block right here and that will help protect all of those slime blocks that are in there from when you drop your TNT down this way let's say if you want to get rid of your legs to fly over the village that will help protect those blocks so just make sure that those uh, regular blocks are in place then what we're going to go ahead and do is come up this direction and we're going to go ahead and add in our cockpit so we can actually fly forward <laughs> what we want is uh, two slime blocks just like so we want slime block just right there which should line you up perfectly for a block placement just above this redstone block. Now once you have that you can go ahead and just grab your boat and you can aim it at this slime block and you can place it just right there. And now you're ready for the last step.
All right, now for the last step, what we're going to go ahead and do is come in and locate this bottom piston here. We're going to come off of it with one slime block like so. Then we're going to drop to the bottom and add in another one. And then another one here and then there. So you have this overall kind of weird looking shape. Then you want to go ahead and place a sticky piston uh, facing into this slime block, just like so. Then you want to go ahead and just slap a redstone block on top of it. Regular block uh, right here. Sorry, wrong regular block. Regular block right here. And then on the top of this block, you can go ahead and just place a piece of TNT. And then on top of that TNT, you can place a sticky piston uh, facing backwards. And you can place uh, two slime blocks on top of it, just like so, and a redstone block, just like right here. And of course, this piston will be what pushes this uh, entire little piece forward that we're building right now. And this piston is what pushes the trigger. Now, knowing that, we're going to go ahead and grab our regular blocks again. And we're going to come out just like so. And then we want to go ahead and add in a regular block to this slime block so we can put a piston in front of it. Then we want to go ahead and grab our TNT, place one here, and then a piston in front of it. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. A piston right here to finish that little segment. And then we're going to go ahead and come off of this piston with our regular blocks, just like so. You want to go ahead and add a redstone block to the top, two slime blocks to the back when you grab your TNT. Then you want to go ahead and just place two TNT like so with one right here. Then you want one TNT here with one, two, three TNT on top. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop to the bottom of this slime block and place one TNT on the bottom of it as well. Now, once we have all of that in place, we're going to go ahead and locate this piston. We're going to come off of it with one slime block, and then we're going to place another slime block right there on that TNT. Redstone block right here, then we're going to drop down to right here when we place another TNT, and then a piston in front of it. Then we can go ahead and place a TNT on top of that, and then four TNT coming out from this slime block. One, two, three, and four. Now once you've done that, you can go ahead back to this piston, come off of it with one slime block just like this, and then you want to go ahead and just add in two more slime blocks so you have this three pattern. Then we're going to go ahead and throw down our redstone block, which will power this piston and will actually be the trigger of the uh, entire missile. So we can add our TNT uh, again to this little front piece, which you want one here, one here, and then one right here, and then you can go ahead and just add a plus sign to the front of the uh, your missile. And once you have that, that is your whole completed ender, and uh, once you remove your obsidian, you're ready for takeoff. Alright, one last little note on the ender. Uh, if you're in survival, um, you can actually go ahead and move in the boat to maneuver closer to this sticky piston so you can launch some TNT without having to leave the safety of the cockpit, and you can actually easily move back to the location you need. Uh, what I prefer to do is actually forget the boat and stand right here on this uh, slime block, And but what that's going to have to do though is you have to remove this piece of glass so you can crouch off the edge of this slime block to reach this uh, sticky piston in a survival, but uh, also what that means though is just to show you guys real quick, it's very easy to move forward um, when the machine is moving. All you have to do is blow this out and you step up against this piece of glass here that's right in front of you uh, while the machine moves. And yeah, that's all the notes for you, just like this. that's going to do it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you haven't already, you have no idea how much it helps. Now, I wanted to try something a little new. Please, in the comments, let me know what your favorite Dylan D. Robot is. I'm really anxious to know what style of design you all prefer. It's okay to pick a couple, so no worries. And lastly, the Ender is only the second robot I've ever made, so I encourage everyone who is trying to build their own robots to really study it. Its overall make is a perfect beginner design. But there's a link in the description to my Twitter where you can follow me for daily updates on what I'm building next, what request I've drawn from the hat, or if there's any sort of issue preventing a video upload for the day. Don't forget to check out all of my other incredible builds and tutorials on my channel if you liked this one, and until the next video you guys, later late.